Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this new Moto G Turbo Edition with me and in this uh, video we'll be doing the gaming review and I'll also share some benchmark scores. And before we continue, uh, let me actually show you the configuration. Uh, some uh, users are a bit confused about the chipset. This uh, Moto uh, G Turbo Edition uh, comes with the Snapdragon 615 chipset which is actually an octa-core processor and as you can see it also has uh, HMP enabled so and the GPU is actually uh, oops let's go back uh, it's the Adreno 405 GPU and it comes with two gigabytes of RAM so that's regarding the configuration and let's uh, let me actually now quickly also show you the benchmark scores I ran some benchmarks so let me actually show you those and here we have the benchmark scores and uh, this is the first is for quadrant and here as you can see we got a score of 24,000 for quadrant which is actually really good and uh, this is Geekbench for single core we got a score of 635 and for multi core we got a score of 2331 I also run the Anto 2 and as you can see we got a score of 32,549 for Anto 2 so those were the benchmarks and now let's do some gaming uh, because it has that uh, Snapdragon 615 chipset and let's start with some casual games and then we'll quickly move to heavy games let's start with Unkilled so this is Unkilled and you can download this game for free from the Android Play Store And as you can see, it's handling it fine without any issues. Let's fire some great uh, rockets. And again, as you can see, no lag. The regular Moto G3 exhibited some uh, lag in some of the heavier games. So we'll also play some heavier games and see how it, this one handles. So as you can see it's playing this one actually very well without any issues. So let's get out of this game and let's move to some heavier games now. So this is Mortal Kombat X and it does take quite a bit of time to load but as you can see once it loads it's running it fine. So as you can see it's running this Model Combat X very well but let's continue. And as you can see it's running this uh, game very well there is no lag. The only thing is it does take quite a bit of time to load the actual game but once it's loaded as you can see it's running it very well without any lag whatsoever so let's also uh, move out of this game and uh, let me just swipe that away and it's been just over eight minutes since we were gaming let's look at the temperatures and as you can see right now it's not hot at all it's about 39 degrees celsius at touch on the screen and here on the back uh, again it's not that hot at all just about 36 let's see the metallic strip this is about 36.9 that's 37 but let's continue and let's now try to play some even heavier games like asphalt 8 so this is asphalt 8 and let me actually show you the graphic setting by default it was on the medium graphic settings but i've changed it to high graphics setting so let's play a few levels so this is asphalt 8 and i'm using the on-screen steering and guys as i mentioned we are at the highest graphics setting by default it will be on medium and i have to say it's playing uh, well even on this highest graphics setting and i see no lag the drift and 
and as you can see it's running it very well and i have to say if you compare it with the regular moto g3 it is running it far better because that game exhibited uh, some lag on this asphalt 8 but this moto g uh, turbo edition even at this highest graphic setting is handling it fine thanks to that improved uh, chipset that's the snapdragon 615 and moreover it has the updated gpu uh, that is the adreno 405 and as this uh, moto g uh, turbo edition also has just a 720p hd screen uh, the snapdragon 615 chipset is easily able to handle it as you can see and i noticed no lag whatsoever on this uh, asphalt 8 So you'll have a good experience playing this Asphalt 8 on this uh, Moto G Turbo Edition. As you can see, we finished the level. And it's now about 13 minutes since we were gaming. Let's see the temperatures. And now the screen is about 41 degrees Celsius, uh, as you can see. And on the back, let's see, it's getting a bit warm at 40 degrees Celsius. It did touch 40.541 also. So about 41, uh, so let's move out of this Asphalt 8 and now uh, let's to move to even a heavier game uh, that is Nova 3 and Nova 3 actually did not play that well on the regular Moto G3. So let's see how it handles on this one. So this is Nova 3 and let's see how it handles this one. Now let me just skip this. And many phones actually exhibit lag in this game, so let's see. And have to say it's running it very well. I didn't expect that it will run this well. And it's running this uh, Nova 3 very well in fact. As you can see, there is no lag that I noticed. And it's handling it very well. In fact, it did much better than the Moto X Play. The Moto X Play exhibited lag on this game. So as you can see, it's playing this game very well. And let's look at the temperatures now. It's been just about... Uh, uh, almost 42 degrees centigrade I would say 41.8 was the max it registered here as you can see let's uh, go towards the back and here also close to about 42 on this it's 41.7 so it's about 42 so it feels a little bit warm I would say but not hot as you can see about 41.6 41.7 that we are registering so it is warm but it is not getting very hot uh, so surprisingly this uh, uh, moto uh, g turbo edition did uh, very well in terms of uh, gaming and it could run very heavy games like uh, nova 3 and even asphalt 8 at highest settings without any lag so definitely i would say if you are a sort of a gamer uh, it is definitely better than the regular moto g3 i'll also be posting the full review for this moto g turbo edition very soon so stay tuned to my channel thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video